Here are the eight apps that you need to help you create better content faster. Starting with number eight is Metricool. Metricool is a social media scheduler that allows you to post one time, uploading your video, your photo, or your text-based social media post, and then it goes out to all of the platforms all at once. This can save you a lot of time, especially when it comes to posting on all of the different platforms. With Metricool, you can connect all of your social media accounts into one place. Then when it comes to posting your social media, all you have to do is upload your media right in your caption or your description, and then it can send it out to all the platforms for you. And Metricool is basically a social media calendar so you can schedule out all of your social media posts for weeks and months to come. Metricool even has a built-in AI feature which allows you to write social media captions with the help of AI helping you to do this even faster. If you wanna learn more about Metricool, I've got a video here where I talk about how you can use that to schedule all your social media posts in five minutes or less. Moving on to number seven is Canva. Canva, in my opinion, is what changed the game when it comes to graphic design. I've been using Canva for the past probably four or five years. And what I love about Canva is there's so many different features and they continue to evolve and improve the platform for its users. Now, the crazy thing is it's free. It's a free software. There is a paid version that unlocks more features and more things that you can do, which I've had for several years and it's totally worth it. However, you can get by with just the free version, creating social media graphics, and there's tons of templates and designs for your inspiration to help you create content just that much faster. This prevents you from having to start from scratch, creating all of these different designs and spending a load of time and the learning curve, especially if you don't have the skills of a graphic designer. There also is a built-in social media scheduler inside of Canva as well. They've added some AI capability. This app is one that's gonna to continue to evolve and definitely a tool to have in your tool belt, especially for all different types of social media content. Number six is Pexels. Pexels is a free stock media platform, a stock media library with tons of photos and videos that you can use inside your social media content. One of the ways that I really love using Pexels is for B-roll. There's thousands, tens of thousands of free videos that you can include inside your projects. And the best thing about it is it's free. So if you're creating any type of video content or even photos for that matter, you can use Pexels in your project to help tell the story a little bit better and to save you time from having to go out and record or film these different scenes or these shots that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do just at the click of a button. You have tens of thousands of different examples that you can use inside your projects. Number five is a category altogether, which are broadcasting softwares. And two that I primarily use are Ecamm Live and StreamYard. And I would also add in OBS, which is a popular option for streamers all around. Basically what these platforms do is allow you to stream your content in a very simple and easy way. And my favorite out of these is Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live is actually what I'm using to record this right now on my computer. It is a Mac only program. If you have a Mac, you probably know how simple and smooth these programs that are built for Mac usually run, and Ecamm is no exception to that. What this allows you to do is stream to multiple platforms like YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, even Instagram. You can also record videos like this, like I am right now. It also allows you to share your screen and have different overlays. It really makes your videos and your live streams stand out in a very professional manner. I also use StreamYard a lot as well when producing for the None of Your Business podcast. This is one of the platforms that continues to evolve as well. It is a web-based program, so it doesn't matter what type of computer that you're using. As long as you have a solid internet connection, you'll be able to use StreamYard. And one of the best ways to use StreamYard is for those interviews. For interviews, live streams, online webinars, you've got different templates and presets that you can make all of your content look really slick, allowing people to engage with you and to be able to create better content that's more engaging for your viewers. Moving on to number four is Descript. Descript, in my opinion, is the video editor for non-video editors, especially when it comes to talking head content. With Descript, each video that you upload into this platform is gonna be transcribed and you can edit your videos as if you were editing a Word document. 
Descript has a ton of different features that are really great for long form content because you can break that down into smaller pieces just by copying and pasting. You can also format your different videos for social media. So if you create talking head content, I really recommend Descript, especially if you're not someone who prefers to have a very simpler video editing process versus another platform like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro. Number three is Google Drive. I know that's kind of a boring one, but so many things can be automated through using cloud storage like Google Drive. Google in general is probably one of the most reliable platforms that I've worked with. It's very simple and easy to use, and it integrates with a lot of different apps and automation tools. So if you're not uploading your videos or using cloud storage, I highly recommend that you do that because it can really allow you to automate some of your workflows. And it's always a good idea to have your footage, your content backed up on the internet so that you can share it with other people, which allows you to distribute it a lot faster and more efficiently. Number two is Notion. Notion is a very powerful note-taking platform However, it's evolved to even more than that. And one of the ways that I use Notion is to keep track of all of my content. I actually have a content calendar. My content calendar for YouTube lives inside of Notion. And inside of that, I can organize by tag, by category, where the video is in its process. And it's really helped me to stay organized and be consistent when it comes to creating content. And more recently, Notion has implemented Notion AI, which in a really cool way helps you to create more content, helping you to write out scripts, outlines, summarizing different long form pieces of content and having that built into Notion is really helpful. And it really allows you to be more efficient where you can organize so many different things in your content creation process amongst other things. And number one, how could I leave this out? ChatGPT. ChatGPT obviously has taken over the internet and there's so many different tools that are coming out every single day on top of this amazing technology. So if you're not using ChatGPT to help you with your content, there's so much that you can do. And I made this video right here explaining how you can use ChatGPT in your content creation process to help you create better and faster content. So go check that video out here. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.